morning in eight minutes. Today marks the 23rd anniversary of the September 11th attacks on America. Knoxville is honoring the fallen with a traditional ceremony on the front lawn of the city county building. A wreath will be laid at the 9-11 memorial at 840. After a moment of silence, First Baptist Church will ring its bells, marking the time hijackers crashed American Airlines Flight 11 into the North Tower of the World Trade Center. And in Cock County, the Sheriff's Office is holding a 9-11 Memorial Parade. The procession of emergency vehicles will leave Cock County Fairgrounds at 9 o'clock this morning and will finish at the red light on Broadway. You're encouraged to line the sidewalks. And this morning, nonprofit organization Carry the Load is organizing a cleanup at the Knoxville National Cemetery, all part of a day of service and remembrance. Volunteers will clean headstones, pick up trash, otherwise beautify the cemetery. If you'd like to volunteer, it starts at 930 this morning at the Knoxville National Cemetery on Tyson Street. Street. Well, Laurel County Schools closed again today as the search for the man police say shot five people on I-75 continues. Now investigators say they hope the weather will help draw him out. Drones, helicopters and search teams still yet to find Joseph Couch in the heavily wooded area near London if he's still there. Police in Kentucky say the terrain complicates the search process due to steep grades and woods. KSP says Couch should be running out of resources by now. Investigators say they have no reason to believe that he's still not in the woods. A $35,000 reward is now being offered for information that leads to his arrest. And this morning, three Knox County kids are facing charges after a flood of school threats. In Knox County alone, officers investigated seven threats to schools yesterday. These threats are not isolated to Knox County, and we know of other threats around East Tennessee and arrests in Chattanooga. But Knox County is seeing a drastic uptick in threats, with investigations happening at Carter Middle, Halls Middle School, two of them at Halls High School, Gibbs High School, West Valley Middle, Vine Middle, and Hardin Valley Academy. Three students have been arrested as a result of those investigations. So here's what we know. The first is an eighth grader from Carter Middle School who investigators say threatened to shoot up the school. The second is a seventh grader from West Valley Middle who made a threat online. And an 11 year old from Vine Middle School, KPD says, who made a threat of mass violence is now under arrest. The Knox County Sheriff's Office tells us they are investigating these incidents. As for the school district, the message from the superintendent of Knox County Schools for parents, he says don't panic because of threats and keep track of your kids. Let them know if they make a joke, even as even make a threat, even as a joke, they will be caught and they will be punished. You'll see increased police presence across Knox County Schools over the next several days out of an abundance of caution. Dr. John Reiswick says Knox County Schools are safe, but it's up to parents to decide whether to send your kids to school. Former President Donald Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris hit the stage in their first and possibly only presidential debate. They sparred on a range of topics, including abortion, inflation, fracking, and border security. Trump slammed the Biden-Harris administration for failing to deliver on student loan forgiveness. Harris went after Trump over his criminal conviction and other pending cases. Both campaigns are taking a pause today to mark 23 years since the September 11th attacks. They're back in swing states tomorrow. Harris is heading to North Carolina. Trump will be in Arizona. And the Department of Agriculture is being sued. The Tennessee Growers Coalition, a hemp group, is saying the state's current emergency rules aren't fair for local hemp stores. Last year, state lawmakers set out to regulate the hemp industry in Tennessee. Now those emergency rules lawmakers installed uh, could take a lot of product off the shelves. Last December, the department heard from tens of thousands of people on this, but this group says the department didn't take them into consideration. The first court date for this is scheduled for September 19th. And the Tennessee Valley Fair is open at Chilhowee Park in East Knoxville. Yeah, you're going to find rides, exhibits, fair food, all the good stuff is on display this week. The fair also showcases East Tennessee's agriculture and arts. A concert series features acts like Treaty Oak Revival and Ludacris. The fair runs through Sunday. We've got a fair guide for all the information for you right now inside your WBLT News app. It is 654. Let's send things over to Olivia Calfee with your first alert traffic. Yeah, keeping an eye on your first alert traffic this morning. First, taking a look at some of those hotspot cameras. Here's a live look. I-40 at Hall of Fame Drive. As you can see, several car lights out there on the road, but it looks like everyone is up to speed on their morning commute right now. Here's another live look. I-75 at Merchant Drive. It does look like a few people are starting to hit the brakes in those southbound lanes near on I-75 at Merchant Drive this morning. One more look. I-640 at Western Avenue. In the clear right now, that's good to see if you were headed out the door in that direction this morning. 
five minutes to seven in your first alert weather. If you are not looking at your screen, you're going to want to. Look at this gorgeous view. A few wispy high clouds really just add to a colorful sunrise that captures that light that's peeking up over the Smokies right now. So we've definitely got some beautiful views over the next 15, 20 minutes as a lot of you are seeing that sunrise across our area. Temperatures across the area vary because of these few high clouds in the outermost bands from Hurricane Francine. It's 59 currently Knoxville to Maryville, 57 Sevierville, but then 52 Jamestown and Taswell, even 50 Middlesbrough. These clouds coming up from the south, the humidity gradually increasing today. So we're going from just below average this morning at 59 degrees at 8 to 78 at noon. Mostly sunny to partly cloudy, 86 year high, actually right around normal on this Wednesday. But hopefully you're still smiling because we do have pleasant humidity levels. That'll be the next element of change too. Clouds coming up tomorrow are thicker. That blocks out our sun. That does slowly add up to rain chances though because the humidity has to then rise as well before any of that rain can hold together. In your first alert eight day planner, that's what I'm tracking. Those batches of rain at times from Hurricane Francine impacts to temperatures and rainfall totals coming up on the CW. Heather, thank you very much. On this September 11th, many people across East Tennessee mem memorializing, remembering that day are in Rogers is live. We'll have more coming up on the CW.